So, Davos 2017, so far two discussions and outputs that are very interesting to any, any of us interested in the power and energy debate, which obviously is front of mind for all South Africans. Firstly, yesterday, a very powerful panel, uh, powerful to coin a phrase, panel um, attended by Soral Ramaphosa, uh, also the head of the African Development Bank, also Aliko Dangote, Africa's richest man, the owner of Dangote Cement, which in one plant in Nigeria produces more cement than the entire South African cement industry. So somebody who really understands the sort of implications of uh, having adequate uh, in energy supplies to get the economy going. So, so their discussion was really all around, let's get back to basics. Let's just make sure that there's sufficient baseload power. Let's make sure the tariffs are adequate. Let's make sure that the... Um, uh, renewables are a sufficient part of the mix, not the only part of the mix. And let's make sure that uh, the private sector can get involved from a financing point of view. As Aliko Dangote said, uh, once there's a decent project with the right government support, financing is not a problem. So a uh, very, very important message there uh, for all of us in South Africa, given the prominence of the electricity debate. Hopefully Soral Ramaphosa comes back um, renewed and re-energized to get the IRP um, discussion process complete so that um, effectively the South Africa's renewable energy uh, program can get back on track. Very important for investors because it's a great source of long-term cash flows, both from a debt and equity point of view and something Ash Burton is taking really seriously. The other development at Davos has been the uh, preparation of a very, very interesting detailed research paper which shows that uh, renewable energy technology, particularly solar and wind, is at an inflection point um, and that it's be become of critical imp importance to investors to get involved in this, in this technology. The, the headlines from that are that solar and wind are now cheaper than coal in 30 countries. And that's, and that's really, really, uh, a really, really important message um, for our global investing portfolios. So two important um, developments at Davos around uh, power and energy. Very, very interesting for those of us in South Africa uh, following that topic.